Yo, what's good, y'all? It's a trill. We're actually here on 80th Street in Kenosha, Wisconsin, and I have the Pixel 6 Pro here. I also have the 5 and the 5A in my pocket. But today, we're going to go and do some N41 speed testing on T-Mobile with 5G. So basically, if you don't know what N41 is, it's basically a sub-6 version of 5G. So you get those really fast speeds, but you don't get like millimeter wave where you get like a thousand down and all that. But today, we got my T-Mobile SIM card in here, and I actually got T-Mobile Essentials on here. So I actually do have T-Mobile Magic to max but the problem with that is for whatever reason i can't get that to work so we're gonna just go ahead and go with t-mobile essentials it seemed with me that's not really impacted performance so we're gonna just go ahead and go with that anyway so as you can see here i'm gonna go and swipe down here it says cell mapper is running so if i go and click on that real quick i'm not sure it's gonna say that's on n41 but you'll see it's on n41 once i run these speed tests so pulling up cell mapper here i'm trying to get the data for y'all but for some reason it's just not loading for me i'm not sure what's going on with this but we can still go ahead with the speed test so we're going to go and use speedtest.net we're going to use the app here as you can see it's on t-mobile us and we're on the arlington heights illinois server so let's go and hit on go that's probably the best server for this and we're getting 23 milliseconds for ping and as you can see we're getting about 260 270 i'm not exactly sure where the node is for the n41 5g but as you can see here we're getting like almost 300 megs out here it's kind of crazy and we're actually getting 42 43 up for the upload here as you can see it's like one in the morning so there's not really much traffic at all there's like two cars passing by and 285 for the down and we got 42.9 for the up so that's actually not bad so actually gonna run this again here on my pixel 6 pro and then we'll go ahead and compare it to see what it looks like here on the 5 and the 5a and also i forgot to mention this but we're actually like outside as you can obviously tell we're not inside of a car or anything which may impact performance so i'm actually outside right now and it's like 30 degrees so it's crazy but as you can see here we got 295 and then we got 43 for the uploads so yeah not bad for t-mobile now we're gonna go ahead and take the sim card out of here and we're gonna go and put it in our pixel 5a all right so now as you can see here if i go and flip this around we actually got the pixel 5a it's kind of hard for me to clarify with it being so dark out here but i think you should be able to tell that we do have a pixel 5a here all right so let's go and do this we're gonna pull up cell mapper real quick let's see if we get any data so it's loading now and that is the data we're getting so far if i look at my notifications uh not giving me anything i'm not sure what and like i say we're over here by snap on headquarters so if you're local out here then that should better clarify things for you but now as you can see here we're getting almost 300 again so we're at like 290 we're hovering around 280 290 290 well, we got 300 wow so we got 305 this is actually doing better than a pixel 6 pro that's a little surprising so the upload we're actually getting 45 so that's not bad either just letting that play out real quick so we're getting 313 for the down and we're getting 43.9 for the up not bad t-mobile we're gonna go and run this again real quick here so it's connecting again well now we're on chicago illinois for windstream i think i'm gonna go ahead and switch the server over real quick so we get accurate results so we're gonna go to gignet for arlington heights let's go and load that up real quick connecting and let's see what we get here all right so we're getting 180 190 200 so we're getting back up to that 300 mark and bang we just hit that 300 mark cool man cool so this is actually doing better than the pixel 6 pro which is kind of surprising to me i wasn't really expecting that but we're even getting almost 50 for the upload wow it looks like we're not gonna hit that we hit 49.2 for the upload but as you can see here that's still pretty decent 305 for the down and then we got 49 for the up we're gonna run that one more time because we weren't on the arlington heights illinois one we were on the chicago one so again we're running this and as you can see here we got 270 280 290 and we got 300 again so it's like consistently hitting 300 on this pixel 5a which again is surprising and now we're on like 311 even 
So, wow, this is like a $400 phone here, and that Pixel 6 Pro is about $900. So now we're gonna go ahead and put this away, and we're gonna go ahead and do our last speed test, which is with the Pixel 5. All right, so last up, we're on the Pixel 5, and as you can see here, the cell map is showing up, but it's not showing the right data. So we're actually gonna go back here to the speed test like we have been, and let's go ahead and do some speed tests. So we're on the wrong server again. We're gonna go and click on Arlington Heights, Illinois. It's back on Chicago. Usually I would click on Milwaukee, like Cyberlink Network or even T-Mobile, but we're not doing that today. So let's go over here. As you can see, it says Pixel 5 right there. Let's go and hit on go. And it says 5G here at the top. Now let's go and see what we get. And ooh, that is not impressive. I'm not sure if it's really picking up that N41. I'm just assuming so right now. But as you can see here, we're only getting 57. That's not normal for N41, obviously. So it looks like we're gonna have to go ahead and figure out what's going on with this. So once this thing finishes up, we're gonna go ahead and figure out what's going on with this. And I'll get back to y'all. All right, so I tried playing around with this and we're not picking up N41 now, I believe. Either that or the speeds are just really bad because I'll even switch servers here and they'll do the same exact thing. So let me close this out real quick if I can even reach to it. We're clicking on GigNet, Arlington Heights, Illinois, and we're clicking on Go. As you can see, it's pulling it up. And again, same thing. I'm not sure why we're not getting the speeds that we should, but the Pixel 5 is the only one having this issue. Either the 5A or the 6 didn't have this issue. It's only the 5, and I'm not sure why. So, honestly, I think I'm going to have to go ahead and conclude it here, y'all. So, for the Pixel 5, I'm not sure what's going on with this, but the Pixel 6 Pro and the Pixel 5A, it gave me no issues here. Pulling out the Pixel 6, as you can see, or actually the 5A. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on with this. But hopefully we can go ahead and get this figured out. Anyways, hopefully y'all enjoyed this. Really appreciate y'all for coming through. And please leave me a like for coming out here when it's about 30 degrees. It's definitely freezing temperature. And I got to get back in my house where it's warm at. Anyways, y'all, thanks for watching. If you liked this video, go and give this video a like. And if you really liked it, go and subscribe. But go and follow me on my social media, Eddie Santec on Instagram and Twitter. And Facebook, but Instagram and Twitter is the most active. And yeah, let me know what you thought of the results. Shout out to Tito Escobar, aka Aloha Android, for actually giving me this recommendation to go ahead and speed test between all these three phones. But all right, y'all, let me go and get up out of here. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. And peace out.